of scotch. I'm starving. Welcome back, whiskey tippers and spirit sippers. One one here again, and we track down another one. It's one I've been thinking about trying for quite some time, and today we're going to make it happen. Today it's all about the Glen Farkless 10. Well, it sounds wonderful. Oh, man, I've been uh, looking at this one, uh, the 10. I've actually had one drink of the 12 at a bar one time, so I've been kind of been wanting to do these for a while, and of course, I always pick something else and pick something else, and today I was like, you know what? It is just time. Uh, Glenn Farkless, it's 10 years old. Um, I heard a rumor that they actually might stop making this for a while, so I don't know if they're running low on supply. I mean, obviously they are. Why else would they? But uh, yeah, I believe I got this one for about $48.99, so just under 50 bucks. So this is, this may be other than the Glen Morangi original. I think this is the only one I've ever, this is only the second one scotch that I've ever had under $50. So, so totally affordable, um, almost I guess what, I, mean, I don't want to call it a budget scotch, but it's definitely like the budget end of their line. And uh, yeah, 40%, so it's going to be a little low probably, but hey, I don't know. I don't know. I've talked enough about it. Let's break into this bad boy. Decent little pop. Yeah, didn't spill a drop on the pour. Spilled some on the opening though, so we're even. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why. I've really been excited wanting to try these. I don't. I can't believe it's taken me this long to get it. Um, yeah, I've just always seen them. They're oh wow. They're always the right price. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to taste this. But you know how we do it. It's uh, 10 years old, so we're gonna let it uh, chill out and air out in the glass for 10 minutes. And we'll Back with you, don't go anywhere. To the future! Right, 10 minutes is up and we're back and I am crazy excited because, man, just that little smell I took right before I um, went out of here to let it rest for 10 minutes, woohoo! It smelled amazing. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a space side um, sherry whiskey. Like I said, it's a 40% ABV, so you already know 80 proof. So, not, it's probably might be a little bit lighter, but I don't know. Oh man, just a malty little bit of a funk, that sherry cask funk. Oh man, citrus, um, definitely like lemons, a little bit of orange, orange and lemons, but yeah, just like lemon zest. There's a spice on this one. It's not prickly, but I mean, it's it's definitely got that nip, that like that tart nip, like just like sucking on a lemon tartness. Oh man, but that. <laughs> that sherry can just it rounds it out so it's not like blow you away it just, it just smells like it rounds it out nice oh man this smells so good for a 10 year old <laughs> I shouldn't say for a 10 year old I mean what's wrong with a 10 year old because the only other 10 I've ever had is the Glendronic 10 and it's one of my favorite whiskeys it's amazing oh man I thought 15 was my sweet spot but 10 might be <laughs> I'd give it a run for its money if all the 10 year olds are like this of course, the green spot's 10, and that's a little <laughs> that's like flavored water almost. So I'm really excited to taste the uh, other green spots, the flavored ones, the Barton and the Levy Baton or whatever. But Glen Farkless, this is uh, the Glen Farkless 10, and it is smelling amazing. Let's give it a taste. Smells back. It's got a nice flavor. Crazy. I mean, don't really talk about mouthfeel that much, but. It coats the mouth real nice. There was zero burn. Um, the just just a touch of warmness going down, and just the just little nod to a Kentucky hut. Just a little, just a little nod to it. But yeah, that is just smooth, buttery, easy, floral, and lemons. Not quite honey. It's more tart than that. It's not quite that sweet. It's more of a that sherry sweetness, not a not a honey sweetness, but a, like the sherry barrel sweetness. I don't know if you've ever had a sherry wine, but like a sherry or port wine, but that kind of sweetness. Oh, this is, <laughs> this smells so good. I am very impressed. Like I said, it's like, you almost want to downplay it. It is, like I said, it's the second cheapest scotch I've ever had. You don't really expect that much from it because it's so-called the bottom of their line. I mean, it's only 10 and it just goes up from there, but man, if it just keeps getting better from here, I'll tell you what, I'm all in on Glen Farkless. I'm a little upset with myself that it took this long to start and get it, taste it, because 
been hearing about it and wanting to taste it and then hearing that rumor that they might stop making it it's like oh, run out and get it real quick because i cannot tell you how many different whiskeys is like i just think about oh, i'll get it later i'll get it later and then later comes and it's not on the shelf anymore you're like yeah it's like usually right about the time i crack and i'm about ready to go buy it that's the time i go in there and it's gone i'm like son of a you know like the weller 12 and the antique 107 unbelievable see them there for like 35 dollars last year and now they're nowhere to be found but funny story the last two times i went into total wine since i'm one of their premier flat whatever customers you can buy their um stuff they have behind the counter and both the times they had a weller antique 107 i had it in my hand and i was like oh let me think about it and took a walk around and both times ended up with something else <laughs> last time i got the story of the spaniard this time i got the 10 and the 12 glenn farkless so of course that one's coming up so and i gotta tell you both times I'm very impressed because as hard as i try i just don't seem to be a bourbon guy it's like scotch is where it's at for me so Love my whiskeys and scotches, and yeah, it's like, I haven't given up. I do like the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Um, that one's pretty good. I got the C919, that's good. But other than that, I just like sticking to sherry scotches, especially Space Sides, Highlands, sweeter scotches. It's like, that's right up my alley. We like the Glen Jonix, the Glen Morangis, and now we're gonna start repping for the Glen Farkless, because this is absolutely delicious. Oh yeah, let's see how it fares over some water. Oh yeah, this is, <laughs> I was expecting to like this one. And I like it even more than I was expecting to be. This is, this is really good. And for under 50 bucks, you kidding me? Some of you out there are probably just laughing your ass off like, yeah, 50 bucks, oh my God, it's only 30 bucks here or whatever. It's like, I don't know why, but up here in the Northwest in the Seattle area, we pay double for everything. I don't know, extra gas to get it up here or something, but we pay double for the actual juice and then we pay like 25% more than everybody else for taxes. I don't get it. I don't know why, but yeah, <laughs> uh, keep those good roads coming, I guess. Cause are you kidding me? It's ridiculous, but we're not going to go on that tangent. We're going to keep it positive because this is absolutely delicious and I am loving it. Let's see how it is with one. Of course. It kind of tamped down that malty, that sherry, musty, funky maltiness. It's still there, but it tamped it down a lot and almost turned it into more of a cherry flavor. Oh, it's really good. That's a really good, yeah, more of that spices and cherries. That is absolutely delicious. Third round, let's see how it fares over ice. Ooh, two for two with no spills on the pores. Nice. Nice big open mouth, open top, no spillage. Ooh, boy, I tell you, with the ice, it took uh, it took all the malt funkiness away. Oh, no, it's just like sweet. It took away like that tart lemon, that lemon tartness as well. Oh, this is just like sweet cherries now. Sweet cherries, red apples, black cherries. Oh, man, almost like black cherry Kool-Aid. <laughs> it smells so sweet. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's taste it. Slunge of that. A little bit of the barrel note, but not even a real heavy sherry barrel, just a tiny bit of that oak flavor, but really, really watered down. Yeah, the water, it smells nice and smooth and sweet. The smell is amazing all three ways, but the ice kind of killed the flavor on this one. Watered down lemons. <laughs> I don't know, that's watered down lemon oak water on the ice. Yeah, the ice kind of killed this one. I mean, it is only 40%, so... Only 80 proof, only 40 ABV. It doesn't quite have enough to stand up to the ice. It was okay with the water. The water kind of took care if you don't really like that overbearing sherry. It doesn't have the uh, sulfur and that real heavy funk of the Macallan or some of the Glendronix. It's not that heavy. It's a lot sweeter, but it is there, that musty funk a little bit. You put a little drop of water on that and it tamps that right down too. But this one is super sweet, smooth, easy. Oh man, this is delicious. For a 10, I am so impressed. I keep saying that, but nothing wrong with a 10 year old whiskey i mean older is not always better and this is just one more example that proves it and for i mean basically a budget i'm calling it a budget price i mean for a scotch anything under 50 dollars is budget and you're this is a 
amazing. I tell you what, I was real impressed with the Glen Ranji original. That, that's really good for a budget one. And this one, I tell you what, it just amps it up even more. This is this is delicious. Uh, wow. I gotta give this one a good solid. Oh man, this is like a good solid 8.7 out of 10. I mean, this is really, really, I am so impressed with this. I can't even, maybe you can tell, but I am super impressed with this. This is amazing. Glenn Farkless 10 all day. I love it. Even more excited to get to that 12 and I keep going up the rank and see what else it has to offer. But yep, all day, 1-1 one, one approved. If you see it out there, get it. Save a few pennies and you will not be disappointed. So I hope everybody out there is staying safe and sane and I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the week. And until we see you next time, cheers.